Hey, what's up everybody? How are you doing here? So here's my recap of the Manchester City and the Liverpool game, you know, in the EFL Cup. I think it's the uh, EFL Cup knockouts to be exact. And Manchester City defeated the Liverpool today 3-2. to So what can I say, man, about this game? First things first, man, I think we can still agree or I think any uh, Premier League fan can still agree that Kevin De Bruyne at the time is still, I think, the best midfielder in the Premier League. I mean, name me a better midfielder in the Premier League than Kevin De Bruyne because Kevin De De Bruyne, man, he still got it, man. Kevin De Bruyne, in my opinion, today was man of the match. He was straight up balling today. Uh, as for Liverpool, though, I really thought Darwin Nunez was going to score today. I was really surprised that Nunez didn't score. But uh, for the most part, this was a hell of a game between Man City and Liverpool. And this is what I like about the Man City and Liverpool games is just, you know, the, the competitiveness in the game. Today, man, uh, this game certainly was one heck of an entertaining game. Five goals scored a total in this match today. And I mean, really, uh, first of all, Looking at Kevin De Bruyne here, man, I think we can honestly admit here that I don't think there's going to be any midfielder that's going to, I think, uh, challenge Kevin De Bruyne for the best, uh, for being the best midfielder in the Premier League, if I'm being honest here, man, because with Kevin De Bruyne, you know, despite him and Belgium suffering an early exit at the World Cup where they didn't even make it out of the group stage, I still think that with Kevin De Bruyne, as long as he uh, maintains his top Premier League form, then I imagine that maybe Belgium still might have a chance at Euro 2024 if De Bruyne just is able to continue to maintain that form and if Belgium can still find a way how to gather pieces that can you know that can basically uh in other words surround surrounding De Bruyne with talents then maybe Belgium has a chance for Euro for the uh for being a strong contender for the Euros I don't know hard to say but uh right now in this game man uh obviously Nunez even though he didn't score I believe he provided an assist today and all that stuff but uh for Liverpool man um uh, today's performance by him was a pretty uh pretty decent one I'd have to say um especially uh but with Manchester City man that's what it's like to play Manchester City you know you think you're going to beat City but hey they got another trick up their sleeve and obviously for City the final goal scored uh today was by Nathan Ake so Nathan Ake he had another uh he had a great game today in my opinion for Manchester City and the thing about the EFL Cup here is I want to I want to know from you people do you guys consider it to be entertaining at all the EFL Cup or no are you like excited by the EFL Cup or are you not I would love to hear responses because I heard many people have different opinions on the EFL Cup tournament and all that stuff and I'm just curious to see what people really think about the EFL Cup today but I mean uh nonetheless man a really great performance from Manchester uh, City if I'm being honest here they were just superb in this game especially with a De Bruyne I believe he had what two assists today so De Bruyne man I think right now if he continues this fine performance I have a feeling that he's possibly going to be the best uh the best premier league midfielder of the deck of the decade because for de bruyne man that's like what his 20th assist so far in the premier league so it just goes to show you here that name me a better midfielder than kevin de bruyne in the premier league right now because honestly i don't see any midfielder that can be on that same level as kdb so yeah uh what a performance by city let me know what you guys thought about this game uh like comment subscribe and see ya